Hey everybody, Steve from Resale Dojo here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through my what solds for about the last 10 days. Uh, and These are going to be my higher ones that I had in here. It's a mix of a little bit of everything that I want to show you uh, what I've been uh, selling. So first here, what I have up on my screen is a Sex and City uh, Complete Series. I found two of these actually at the same store. Uh, the lady probably thought I was a little weird uh, buying them both. Uh, but I bought them for six dollars each, and I've already sold one, and it was for forty-four ninety-five free shipping. Next one is you'll remember from a, my previous haul video, a video game bundle. Uh, the two Wii, Wii uh, steering wheels, uh, I sold those for thirty-five dollars and free shipping. Uh, another one I've sold, and I sell a ton of Beachbody. I know people say be careful on there because of uh, Vero issues. Um, I've never run into them. I've been selling them. I sell them like crazy. Uh, just make sure that they're legit and you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, but I sold, uh, was it Pio? 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 Uh, sold this set for 26 bucks, free shipping. Uh, another one you guys will remember from last episode as well is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. That one sold really quickly for me, uh, $65 or $63, free shipping on there. You notice on um, most of my listings, especially my latest listings, will be uh, ten, I always run a 10% off uh, promo and I usually always have free shipping unless it's like a video game console that I'm shipping like FedEx or something that's really heavy I won't put free shipping on there I'll charge shipping um, on that um, just to make sure that the, the price looks a little bit lower it kind of lowers the price uh, kind of tricks them a little bit of where the price point is even though I'm just moving where the shipping uh, price point is um, but yeah that will move quickly so I'm already in the uh, I've already paid off for off of those last two sales I paid off for that bundle. Uh, calculators are always hot, especially this time of the year. School starting up. Uh, TI-83 Plus for $36 free shipping. I got that for like three bucks. BG's Anthology, I got that for around four dollars. That was almost fifty dollars. That sold in less than a week. Uh, if you guys don't know about media also another thing that's great about it is uh, media mail so this one uh, I think I put uh, um, for this one I did put on insurance so it's a little bit more but still ship this thing with insurance across the country it was like 550 so that's the best thing about uh, selling DVDs and CDs this one was a cool find, especially since I'm a Bears fan. Uh, it was just a little bit small for me, otherwise I would have kept this one. Uh, vintage McGregor Sand Knit. I haven't seen those before. Look at those tags. Pretty sweet. Um, I bought that one for, I think, $4.50 and sold it for almost $39. Here's another uh, piece of clothing. I, I've sold a few. I don't only sold, sell media, but I sold a few of my pieces that I have. Uh, this Field and Stream camo vest. I believe this one I bought for like a buck. I think it was sitting there on Dollar Day and no one had grabbed it. So I grabbed that one and uh, $34. Here is a Microsoft Soft Mouse. This one isn't really anything special um, other than you get really good money for it. Uh, sold it for 60 or $72. I underpriced a few people that had really high prices. I think like 80 or 90 uh, I sold this one in a week. I bought this one for $8 as well. Uh, this one I had taken a shot chance on this one. Uh, it actually had 10% off, so it went for $45. I don't know why it's not showing it on there, probably because it expired um, after I pulled this up. But I did sell it for $45, free shipping. I bought it for $3. Um, and I had another one as well that I bought of a different type of refill. And I just thought, hey, I'll take a chance on these and um, sold them. Uh, this one's been safe for about a month or two, though, so it took a little bit of time. Uh, these two support your local sheriff and gunfighter DVDs. I bundled them up. They're two sealed uh, DVDs uh, from the same uh, series, I guess, uh, of James Gardner. Um, 
I saw that they were selling pretty decent. Um, I figured I'd put them both together and they sold within like four days or something like that. So um, once again, free shipping on there and I had 10% off and I sold for 36 bucks. I think together I paid less than $6 for them. Uh, this was a great find too. I found all six of these lost DVD sets um, at the same store. Someone had turned them all in. These, they're regular DVDs, not Blu-rays. Um, paid up for it a little bit for what you know consider, but I paid uh, after my 20% discount. It was $24 because they were $5 each uh, originally. So I paid 24 bucks, and this flipped in a week as well. So lost sets go really well because I don't think they're on any streaming service right now. It was on Netflix for a long time. Um, so maybe there's an ABC one that's out there or like one of the Hulu ones, but since it's not on Netflix, it's uh, been going, uh, you could sell them uh, pretty well, especially if you even have just like uh, season five or season six alone, those sell pretty, season six really, that sells like 30 bucks. Um, but that one's shipped really, or sold really quickly. Uh, Sony Walkmans, uh, always check the model number on these. Um, and if you get them real cheap, and you're worried about, uh, you wanna get these really cheap uh, because a lot of times the, the inner mechanism for playing the cassette doesn't work and you'd have to repair them. I never worry about repairing them. I just sell them as is if they don't work. Um, but uh, if they are working and the model is a really nice model, you can get some good money on I think I paid like $2 for this at a store just take in chance on it um, and I sold it for uh, 31 even if it doesn't work if you want to part it out you can always part out these back clips on there because a lot of people lose those and you could still like you, you get your money back uh, for what you probably would have paid if you don't want to worry about selling the broken uh, unit as well so you could probably get 10 to 15 bucks for the clips uh, as well if you just sell those separately uh, Sharps uh, series set uh, with Sean Bean. You may remember him from first season of Game of Thrones. Uh, this one I bought all four of these from the same store. I think they were like four dollars each, and I had the discount on there as well. Um, so I sold that for uh, fifty-four bucks. Sold in I think about two weeks. Las Vegas. You wouldn't think that this one would be rare, but it is. It wasn't on TV for a while, except they just started bringing it back on. I think I saw it on USA and a few networks, just like it last week or so. Um, so this may go down in price, um, just because it is now being shown back on syndication. Um, but I, I had season two and season three, and I've sold both of those. Season three is definitely worth a little more. It was 44 bucks, uh, free shipping. I think season two, I got like 38 or something like that for but uh, if you can still find them, they're still good money because you're probably going to still find them for three or four bucks. And it's going to take a while for the price to really drop if they do. Uh, we we moats, uh, these sell really good. I like to bundle them up, whether it's uh, I will bundle up uh, the Wiimote with uh, a nunchuck. If you don't know what that is, that's the Wiimote there and that's the nunchuck right there. Um, I'll bundle those up. As you can see, I have four left of these bundles and two have sold. Or I will bundle up two of the Wiimotes together uh, and sell them for around that same price. I mean, actually, a little bit more. I'll probably sell them, I would probably sell them for around 35 if I was bundling the two up together. Um, and that, that sells really well. Um, just wait it out. You'll get your price. People will buy them. And the last one I had on here was a, a nice bolo as well. Uh, Latin. Any type of Latin CDs and DVDs, I blow through it right away. I, the last two I've had, I sold them within like a few days. So Visual Latin, uh, this DVD set, it's a three DVD set, sold for 72 bucks. So uh, yeah, look out for that. That's a, definitely a bolo. Any type of like, education DVDs, um, look look at, just check the price on them. You'll find some awesome prices and uh, some great scores there. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for checking out my video and uh, seeing what I sold in the last week, or actually last 10 days. 
Uh, I hope to bring this to you guys every week or every two weeks just to show you guys some of my top hitters that I had out there and give you guys ideas of what to look for. Um, it was a pretty good week there. I think I went through a list of 100 solds, and these were my favorites that I saw out of all of them. And uh, so hopefully next week I have a great list to, to choose from again and share with you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.